In today's video, we are going to compare two incredible dog breeds, the wonderful Welsh Corgi and the lovable French Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Corgi. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect corgis. So if you're a lifelong corgi lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new corgi, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another corgi video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll jump straight into the origins of the French Bulldog, who, despite its name, originated in England. In the middle of the 19th century, a new type of toy-sized bulldog emerged in Nottingham. Due to their compact size and their delightful nature, these little dogs soon gained popularity in various English cities. Back in the day, Nottingham was the centre for lace-making, a trade threatened with extinction by the Industrial Revolution. This caused many lace traders to relocate to France together with their little bulldogs. These bulldogs were then interbred with French terriers and possibly pugs. Over time, they developed their characteristic bat-like ears. Today the Frenchie has gained worldwide popularity and is one of the best companion dogs on the planet. Now, the history of the Corgi is divided into two separate Corgi breeds. The Cardigan is one of the UK's most ancient dog breeds. Their ancestors came to Wales around 1200 BC, along with Celtic tribes. Cardigan Welsh Corgis are descended from the popular Dachshund. Both Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh Corgis were used as herding dogs, but the Pembroke is a relatively young breed whose origins reach back to around 1000 AD. The first dogs resembling Pembrokes entered Wales along with the Vikings. Pembrokes are descended from Nordic Spitz dogs. In appearance, both Corgi breeds closely resemble one another, but they are different from the stocky, stub-nosed French Bulldogs. Corgis are a dwarf breed and in a very simplified manner one could say they look like German Shepherds or smooth collies on short legs. Both Corgis have pointy ears but Pembrokes are born without a tail. In size, adult Pembrokes are up to 30cm tall and weigh about 13kg. Cardigans measure up to 33cm and weigh up to 14kg. Both Corgis have a dense double coat of medium length that can come in a wide array of colours such as fawn, red and sable. For the cardigan, merle is also permitted. The French Bulldog can grow up to 33cm at the wither. In weight, adults can reach up to 13kg. Frenchies have very short and tight coats that can come in many colours including brindle, with or without white, fawn, tan and white. But the French Bulldog's most marked features are their short, stub-nosed faces and their large, bat-like ears. In terms of their temperament, French Bulldogs, as well as Corgis, are great companion dog breeds. Their compact size and gentle nature makes them perfect pets for families, city dwellers and senior dog owners. Kind-hearted and even-tempered, both breeds are fantastic with children and friendly to people in general. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, we officially are on TikTok and you can come and follow us all over there. No, you're not going to see me dance into different songs, but what you will see is much more of me working with dogs and showing you all the different tips and tricks that you need to raise perfect canine companions. So if you're on TikTok, you want to come and say hello, I can't wait to see you over there. There'll be a link in the description box below. But Corgis are far better watchdogs than the friendly Frenchies. While corgis are not aggressive dogs, they can sometimes try to herd children by nipping them in the ankles. This behaviour is typical for herding breeds, but it should be discouraged nevertheless. By and large, both corgi breeds, as well as Frenchies, are quite playful and are amazing with children of any age. They get along equally well with other pets. With that said, French Bulldogs sometimes show dog aggression and less well socialised to other dogs from early in their lives. So as we've seen, both breeds make marvellous family pets, but how easy is it to teach them tricks or basic obedience? In other words, how intelligent and trainable are Corgis and Frenchies? Like most herding breeds, Welsh Corgis are quite smart, trainable and eager to work. They quickly learn and they perform well, always aiming to please their owners. Corgis successfully compete in herding trials, agility and obedience competitions. The French Bulldog, on the other hand, is very different. These compact little dogs with the bat-like ears are known for their adorably stubborn nature. But even though they were slower at learning than the keen Corgi, French Bulldogs can absolutely be taught basic obedience and good manners. 
It just takes a bit more patience for them to get there. And now let's discuss the exercise and grooming needs of these adorable companion dogs. As a herding dog, the corgi should be given about one hour of exercise per day. Their short legs notwithstanding, corgis can easily keep up with their owners on brisk walks and shorter hikes. Contrary to the entire in corgi, the Frenchie does not need or even tolerate much walking and running outside. Due to their stub nose faces, Frenchies can have trouble breathing and they should never be over exercised, especially in warm temperatures. Walking them for around 15 to 20 minutes twice a day is quite sufficient. In their grooming requirements, both breeds are very low maintenance. The French Bulldog's short, crisp coat only requires one to two brushes per week, either with a soft bristle brush or a grooming mitt. However, they need to have their skin folds cleaned on a daily basis to avoid infection. Also, depending on the status of their health, they might require having eye drops or other medications applied every day. To keep the corgi's medium long coat tidy, three brushes a week are enough, for example with a slicker brush or a pin brush. And this wraps up our discussion of these wonderful and unique dog breeds, the Welsh Corgi and the French Bulldog. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Corgi videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Corgi Show.